In a world where pocket monsters have infiltrated every facet of your reality, get ready for another attempt to deep throat your rent money with a baby's first MOBA that takes the genre to its logical conclusion, letting you juice up the little bastards with money. You know, like real sports. Pokemon Unite. Enter the extremely casual online battleground of Pokemon Unite. As Tencent and the Pokemon Company attempt to bank on a trend, almost a decade late, by stripping the usual MOBA formula of anything even remotely complicated, and filling the void with adorable characters they've already hammered into your lower brainstem for decades, making it one of the most accessible MOBAs ever made for casual players, and to hardcore veterans, a piece of trash they wouldn't let their dog crap on. Choose from a veritable Poke Bowl of different generation monsters, with some classics, some fan favorites, and a bunch that you would never even consider taking out of your box, each with their own roles and specialties that everyone will mostly forget about as they frantically scramble to score points, as you gain experience to evolve your Pokemon as quickly as possible. Because since this game doesn't have item builds or, like, aiming, an opponent even one level above you will take your ass to Pound Town, unless you actually know how to play MOBAs, in which case you roll over everyone like they're elementary schoolers, which is probably exactly what's going on. Does it feel good to win, knowing that I've crushed the hopes of a bunch of actual children? Yes. Emphatically, yes. Shoot some hoops in a game that is almost exactly nothing like basketball, as every kill fills your fat little belly with points that you'll attempt to dunk into your opponent's knot towers to cash them in, only to get stunlocked out of it because your team hasn't developed object permanence yet and wandered off until everything ultimately devolves into a slap fight over Zapdos, who gives you so many points that it basically determines the entire match. Because at 10 minutes, the game just ends no matter how hard everyone was sucking, so you can feel like you've accomplished something and hopefully convince you to spend some money to buy a dumb suit for Mr. Mime or whatever. Then just repeat the cycle again and again until they've broken you down psychologically in a game design that makes the matches just quick and painless enough that you accidentally end up devoting your life to it. Mobile games, the easiest way to empty your mind and your wallet simultaneously. Discover Pokemon Unite's most contentious mechanic, their held item upgrade system, that allows you to use real money to boost up your Pokemon's gear for maximum stats, instead of grinding incredibly slowly to accrue their free currency. Assuming there's anyone left that isn't tired of getting totally spanked just because they're poor. You lose. In an amazingly more annoying business model than the current MOBA standard, that doesn't even really try to conceal the fact that it's another blatant cash grab that you'll play anyway because they slapped a Pikachu on it. It's really saying something when a game almost makes EA look ethical. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go that far. So dress up those Pokemon and get your parents' credit cards ready for a subpar experience that would get laughed out of the market without its licensing that can still be some quick sloppy fun as long as you don't take it too seriously. Basically, it's the Tinder of MOBAs. Starring Super Saiyan Felix, Rule 34 Devoir, Dragon Lame, Catatonic Totoro, Brownie Crab, Naruto, Tina Turner Sentient Wig, Play Firebird, Flurry Convention, Do You Smoke Weed Mon? John Wayne Gacy, The Original E Girl, Joe Rogan, Emo Simba, A New Gremlin, Dog May, Cram It Up Yours, G Fuel Jigglypuff. Delta Airlines, Amanda Bynes, and the moneymaker, Pokemon Class Warfare Stadium. You know one thing they got right is the cosmetics. Because it doesn't matter what game I'm playing, I just want to look like I'm recently divorced. The Division 2, Warlords of New York.